Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're a first time viewer, my name is Sabrina and I'm a mum. I blog at the Mummy Stylist and I've got two kids, one boy who's five and one little girl who is 19 months, so one and a half. And I'm trying to do a blog every two weeks. So today I wanna to talk to you about reading to your child because um, it wasn't something I actively did with Tyler. He's now in year one and basically from December to January he's improved incredibly and that's since I started reading to him every night um, different books from the library. So I thought I'd just share with you what I did because I think every child is capable of reading really well um, and I'm just a bit surprised at the differences in levels in the same year across the country and I've talked to friends and things about it. So basically, um, in reception I didn't really pay attention to it. They had picture books and started reading actual words towards the end of the year or maybe halfway through the year. Um, and he started reading road signs wherever you walk around and just started taking interest in reading words wherever he went. But the reading we picked up in year one and he started the year on a stage three book, it's the Oxford Reading Tree, and he was on um, level three, which was like simple sentences like Adam went to the shop or, you know, just full, full word sentences. And we basically read a book after school um, and things changed at Christmas time when I started to do a book advent, which I got this idea from some other bloggers, but basically you have a Christmas themed book for every day leading up to Christmas Day and you wrap them up in Christmas paper, number them from 1 to 24 and every night before bedtime he'd unwrap the book. So I would read it to him because I thought they were too difficult and I was so surprised he was really interested in the stories. There was different ones, not just about you know Jesus, it was things like the polar bear stories, penguins um, as well as Christmas themed ones so it, they were funny stories because kids books are actually really funny um, so I got most of them from the library and some traditional ones that we already had at home like Little Red Riding Hood, Gingerbread Men, that sort of thing um, and then halfway through maybe even a week into doing this book advent he started to read them himself he'd take the book he'd be so excited to unwrap the book himself he'd go get get it and he'd start reading good mummy I'll read it and then then I read it to him and um, so he just picked it up and if you watch my Instagram stories, you'll have seen how good he's at reading. He's very quiet at it, it's not very really loud, um, but if you listen really carefully, he's taken in the story, he does the voices, and I was like, oh wow, he does like reading. And then when it came to Christmas Eve in the last book, I thought, why should I stop doing this just because Christmas is over? This should be about reading. So I basically got more books out of the library and I carried on wrapping them. So this is, um, what I did so this is newspaper because I ran out of wrapping paper but I had loads of Christmas wrap left over so I used that up and I number them so that's 31st of January 1st of February in this one and he gets excited to wrap um, unwrap them and find a different story um, and I'll show you some types of books that I get for him so this is the week just gone so I'm gonna take them back to the library today but I'll share them with you quickly like for example this one's called I'll Wait Mr Panda so I like to choose funny books so go to your library and have a look not at the board books these are the ones that they're quite thin and they're square and check that you'll you think your child will be able to read it so this one's really easy, it's just very, very small sentences like What are you making Mr Panda? Wait and see, it's a surprise. And why I thought this book it would be funny for Tyler to read because the surprise is at the end the bear makes a donut. <laughs> Who doesn't love donuts? Um, and this one, Gorilla Loves Vanilla, it's hilarious. It's about um, all the animals, um, different flavours of ice creams like this chicken likes worm ice cream. But the words you can see it's more difficult than the other one but Tyler could read these and he found it so hilarious and then at the end the gorilla chooses vanilla ice cream and um, so I, just, I choose stories that I think he would have find funny like bear on a bike so this is about bear he has to deliver this cake to this mouse so he's going around town on different types of vehicles so I like to make sure there's still some sort of theme that Tyler will like so try to include vehicles funny animals 15 things not to do with a baby he loved this because he loves Lily so it's funny things like don't give a baby to a kangaroo and you can see kangaroo is probably not a word they would use in school um, 
So by doing this, I will help him with the words that he can't do. But he spelling them out because everything they do at school, they learn it phonetically. So they they spell out the words. So for kangaroo, he would go can ga ru and he can work out the words that he would not know and then other words i'll just help him out with because some the english language is quite complicated some words just don't make sense so and kids have such a good memory that they will um remember what you've told them so especially if you keep reading every day they'll remember the words that they've learned the cow who climbed a tree you can see these are the type of books that kids would like the house that Zach built. That one wasn't so funny, it was kind of like, oh, he built a nice house. So some of the books are a bit fluffy. Um, Elliot, the Midnight Superheroes. This is about a kid at, at night, he he saves the world from different types of disasters and things. So he found that funny. And also he's got a friend called Elliot, but this Elliot's got one L. So little things are like he noticed. Um, so yeah, I would suggest if you want to help your kids um, reading, really do something like this. Get seven books up from the library every week. Just go when they're at school, pick up seven books and come home and wrap them and put them in the same place so your kid knows this is where they're going to read, pick out a book for that evening and read together. And I'll tell you how it's worked for Tyler. He was on stage four Oxford Reading Tree book in December and then they gave him a stage five over the holidays and then in January he was on stage six straight away like the week after he started school so his reading improved and I'm sure it's because he's been reading every day during school holidays and ongoing now it's helped his reading I think at school let them learn how they're learning and then at home just support it by reading books at home with them um yeah and wrapping them up and making it exciting um and yeah don't I think Especially where I live, English is a second language for a lot of mums and I think they feel nervous that oh, I can't help my child read because it's really difficult but don't be afraid, don't be afraid to make mistakes, it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay for your child to make mistakes, it's all about just getting that passion for reading and might finding stories funny, it helps their imagination and, and reading just gives you those different story ideas, it helps them think of things and just know more words and yeah, even if you feel you're not confident in reading don't let that stop you. Every child, no matter what background, no matter if you're from a rich area, poor area, whatever, I think every child is capable of reading and I just really think, think it's easy. Just go, everywhere's got a library, just go to your local library, get out seven books a week and read it once a night. And also at my library, I think this will be the same, it's a nationwide scheme. They gave me this book called Bears Reading Adventure. It's a book trust scheme. So basically if you take out six books, um, every week you you get a sticker for your child to stick in a book so it's a really nice book um so here it says this sticker book belongs to tyler tyler she wrote his name in and it's got a story about um basically the bear getting books out from the library so it's quite a long story and on each page there's a sticker to put on so this one's really stuck on this was for week one he had to stick a drum on and then week two it was sticking an ice cream van so the next sticker will be a squirrel sticker so i go in every tuesday wednesday get out seven books the minimum is six but i get out seven because i do a book every day and they'll give me a sticker and then in the evening i say to tyler i've got this sticker for you you can put this new book the only thing is he's a bit like he wants to put all the stickers in at once he's like well i've only got one sticker but hopefully he'll get it and then by the end i think how many stickers are i've maybe about 10 stickers to put on and then when you got uh, fill the whole book in you get a certificate so that's a nice extra incentive for children to read more books so I hope, I hope you found that useful and I hope I didn't come, come across too preachy or pushy I'm not a pushy parent I'm all about education should be fun and yeah if your child doesn't want to read don't push it but I think by wrapping it up and making it a fun activity having a sticker book try and make it fun and if they find reading difficult then you read to them because you know when I started doing this book advent it was me reading to him I wasn't expecting him to read it and I think eventually they'll want to so start it off that way um, and then I think your child's reading will improve just like Tyler's did um, and I'm, I, I'm not doing this video to show off either I'm not I'm, I'm really proud of how he's reading and you know I'm proud of myself for helping him um, and almost annoyed at myself for not doing this from reception on this I just thought you know reading was a bit boring or 
you know, it's hard work, you just can't be bothered, you have no patience to sit with him and spell out words, but you know what, it's, it's time to be patient, you know, if this is your child and it's good to help them um, and it's fun I really like all the stories in the library are hilarious there are so many funny ones I try to avoid the fluffy ones that are about oh I love my mummy and blah blah lovey dovey ones because it is nice it's not to teach about nice emotions but and maybe it's because I've got a boy he's into these funny stories I love hearing him laugh he, he just he makes funny voices to go with the characters too so yeah I hope you found that useful um and yeah, if you've got any opinions, let me know in the comments and yeah, I'd just love to know how, if your child's in year one or whatever year they're in, what sort of reading level they're at and how they do it at your school. I don't know, because I, do, I almost feel like it's guesswork being a parent. Well, maybe, I don't know, I don't have that relationship with my child's teacher to understand things, but I can see that he's doing well so i just want to help help him um yeah if you like this video please like it and subscribe and yeah hopefully i'll see you again in two weeks